We have already talked about 28 things we want in Super Mario Maker 3, but there's so much more. So today we're gonna take a look at 7 elements we want in the sequel of Super Mario Maker 2. Let's get started. First of all, we have the ability to search a level by the name. Normally, you can't find a level like this. You always have to enter this long code to get to a specific level. But it would be so much easier to search by the name, because you can remember it much easier than this long code. Of course, the code option should be still available, because multiple levels could have the same name. In Mario Maker 2, you can only use the water in the jungle theme and lava in the castle. Why can't you mix everything up? I would love to put water in the underground theme and lava in the overworld theme. But this is not only the problem, because when you are able to use water for example, you cannot put it in specific parts of the level, it just stretches over the whole level. You can only have two checkpoints in a level, but that is if you have another sub area. Because you can only have one checkpoint in a main area and one in a sub area. Why can't you use two, three or four in the whole level? No matter in which area you place them. This really would be a great addition. Rolling hills are terrain which rotate around their own axe, without even stopping once. They mostly appear in the game Mario vs Wii and look like this. In Mario Maker 3 you could select them from the menu and make them bigger and smaller like that. We should get more cheap cheap variations because they are already very useless. You could turn them into a spike cheat cheap or even into a boss fight like in Mario vs DS. This could add a reason why more creators of levels should use them and they will not be so useless anymore. The Double Cherry This power up would be for the 3D road style. If a character eats it, a second one will spawn behind the actual character. You could make interesting levels where you have to keep it to get to the end. Including with this power-up, we should get the platform which tests if you've lost the clone or not. The thing which all bosses have in common are their hit points. If you hit them 3 times, they die. But it would be so much better if you could select how many they should have. This would make all different bosses unique and more people will use them. And thanks for watching this video. I hope that you all agree on me with these things. And if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you see alerted when I post something new.